Hi everyone, we're GuitarPlayersClub.com and this, this lesson is pertaining to our ebook that you can print out and today we're going to discuss the open or major chords A, B, C, we're not going to do B today that's going to be another lesson A, C, D, E, F, and G instead of referring to them every time as major we just skip the major so if you ever hear A major versus A minor when they just say A, it's referring to A major, so we're not going to say the major, just wanted to stress that point. Okay? The A chord um, is the rock A. I'm going to show you the easy version for the rock chord A, instead of the, the books are going to show you and the, and the charts are going to show you to make an A this way or this way. We're going to call this the rock A because we're going to make it easy. We're going to take our index finger, we're going to go to the most important thing when you play the A chord is I'm going to put my pick up here so you can get it all in the frame. When you play the A chord, the A rock chord, I want you to focus your picking on open A and we're not even going to be fingering. We're not going to play that. D2 and G2. Okay, this differs from what the books show you, but this is the, what you'll use in 90% of the songs you play off of the radio. are going to be using this type of A, which we're going to call the A, the rock A. So, you're going to do A, C row. You're not going to finger anything, you're just going to pick it with your pick. Let me get my pick back up here in the frame. You're going to take your first knuckle, you're going to squeeze D2 and G2, and that's it. And it's going to be a little difficult for beginners, but don't worry, just, if you're having trouble, change the position of your thumb, and drop your thumb. And you notice when I take my thumb over here like this, there's stress on this first knuckle versus when I drop my thumb and I'm going to try to stay in frame here, that gives you that little circle. So when you drop your thumb, that's going to make it a lot easier to make that first knuckle that direction. So the A chord is A0, D2, and G2. We're skipping B, we're going to go to the C chord. The C chord is E, B, B string, Index finger, your first finger, B string first fret. We're going to leave, so when you play A, let me digress back to A. When you play A, you're, you're focusing on trying to keep your pick on these three strings, A, D, and G. Okay, back to C. E string, B string, first finger, B string. The G string is going to be open. We're going to take our middle finger. We're going to go to the D string, E, B, G, D, E, A, D, second fret. Okay, G is untouched. We're going to take our ring finger, we're going to go to A, E, A, E, B, G, D, A, A string, third fret. Now on the C chord, we're going to strum all six strings, basically. And that's a C chord. So again, B string, first fret, D string, second fret, G is open, A string, third fret, index, middle, ring. We're going to strum all six strings. Right? The C chord, that's the end of the C chord. The D chord, we're going to focus our picking on D on down. We're going to try to avoid picking E and A. We're going to start on D, and D is going to be zero. We're not going to finger D. When we make the D chord, we're going to take our index finger, we're going to go to E, B, G, G string, second fret. Now when you make the D chord, turn your knuckles, try to turn your knuckles this way to the floor, because we're going to take that middle finger, Drop your thumb if it's getting difficult, or raise your thumb depending to adjust. Take that middle finger, you're going to put it on high E string, second fret. Then we're going to take the ring finger, and we're going to go to B string, third fret. So, again, from the top, index finger, E, B, G, G string, second fret, first fret, second fret. Middle finger, high E, second fret. Ring finger, B string, E, B, third fret. G2, B3, E2, and that's the D chord, focusing on D on down. All right, now the E chord. We're going to go to the G string, E, B, G, E, A, D, G, G string, first fret, index finger, E1, middle finger, A string, E, A, A string, middle finger, second fret, first fret, second fret, ring finger, D string, second fret. So the E chord, we have E1, index, middle, A2, ring, D2. And on the E chord, we're going to strum all six. And that's the E chord. 
Again, open chord, this is all, all these chords are also the major. We eliminate the major, we just say E, A, B, A, C, D, E, F, G. All right, E, now F is the hardest chord of all because we have to really drop our thumb, take that thumb all the way down, and that's going to allow this first knuckle to go this direction. We have to squeeze E1 and B1. Very difficult. Don't be intimidated. It's going to take a year of practice to get this F chord to sound good. Everybody, when they play it, they do sound like this for quite, quite a long time. Okay, that's what's going to happen, but don't worry about that. So when we play the F chord, again, we're going to avoid E and A. We're going to focus basically on the bottom four. The four we're fingering. We're going to take our index finger. We're going to try to squeeze E1 and B1. Remember, our goal here in this club is to not get stressed out. That's going to be difficult for quite a while. The middle finger, G2. The ring finger, D3. So we have E1, B1 with the first knuckle. Middle, G2, ring, D3. And we play. We focus our pick on the bottom four that we're fingering. And that leaves us with G. G is uh, open G is a difficult chord. There's a lot of forms of it. We're going to go over the textbook G, which is the index finger goes to A, low E, A string, A string, second fret, middle finger goes to low E, third fret. The ring finger goes to high, high E, third fret. And there's an open G, also known as G major. We eliminate the major, as I said. And this is a G chord. What did I leave out, Joe? That's it. And that's it for today. We'll catch you guys later. Thank you.